So, hello everybody. Ribbon by Moss 14.1 is out and it brings a nice little addition to the launch pad series. So, all the launch pads I support have this feature. Uh, but I thought, why not take the little cutie here for demonstration purposes? And I loaded up a drum track, and there is now a new feature for the drum sequencer. So, if you open up the drum sequencer, first let's create a new clip so we see something here. There was here a new row at the bottom where you had different combination keys and I cleaned it up again and you have now only this red button. So you have now uh, again the larger range for creating clip length so you can create up to 15 measures. You can create up your loop here now again. And what is this little button for here now? There you can now activate the additional features you have. And the row you had below there is now here the second row. So this is the one for the button combinations. For example, you can select here a sound in the drum rack. You can solo a sound, you can mute it, and you can open up the browser. This one is for toggling this on and off. And and here you have now no repeat function. So we have now just a normal sound. And if you activate it, we activate note repeat. So this is the same button as you have here in the shift view where you see that here up here. Let's create a new clip and deactivate here the recording. So we do not record. Okay, so. So now we have it enabled. And what you now can do, these two buttons activate the period and the length of the note repeat. And you can, if you activate that, select it here on the scenes. And this is now really nice for playing. Okay. For example, you can do it like that, or you can do it like that. can do the same here for the length and change that as well but that's not really noticeable with a drum sound. So nice little feature which makes the drum mode even more powerful and you can directly play with that and improvise with that and I hope you dig it and make some funky music.